Hi everyone. If you did not see my previous video when I operate on my father-in-law's first eye, you gotta check it out. Here is his first eye at the slit lamp. He's healing very well, he's happy, and I'm alive, so hallelujah. Here's his second eye, which we're gonna take care of. He can't wait to get this cataract removed. And these are his uh, OCTs. This is his right eye, which looks great. His left eye has a small epiretinal membrane there. So that's why his right eye is a tiny bit better than his left eye in terms of his retina. And here we go, moving on with the cataract surgery for his second eye. This is his left eye. We are doing this surgery manually without laser. It's all by hand. There are advantages of using laser and there are advantages of doing it manually. Although laser can be more precise, I decided to do this surgery with my hands because I feel that I have absolute control of my hands. I would have considered using laser if his cataract was very dense, but his was not. So here we are, we're breaking up the cataract into small crumbs so that we can take out the cataract material through a tiny incision. Everything's coming out as it's supposed to. Here we are stripping the cortex of the cataract away from the capsular bag. It's like the outermost layer of an onion. It's coming out fairly easily. After this, we're gonna polish. We're gonna polish the anterior capsule. We're gonna polish the posterior capsule with the IAA tip, very gently removing any lens material from the bag. I'm also power washing the posterior capsule. We want the posterior capsule to be clear during the post-operative period. Now I am inflating the bag with uh, gel. It's called um, viscoelastic. Now I'm polishing more with a Singer Sweep polisher. After we polish everything and it's nice and clean, we are gonna expand the incision. And I use a second blade to do this because I want the incision size to be exact. I don't just want to approximate the size. And we are inserting the light adjustable lens and it tends to explode open. It always makes every surgeon nervous, but I've done so many of them that I'm used to it now. And I am rotating the lens into the capsular bag. Now we're just gonna remove the viscoelastic gel out of the eye, returning the eye to its natural state, but with the new lens. We are hydrating the incision so that we leave behind a watertight seal. Those are just some air bubbles. Now we're just checking the eye pressure, making sure the incisions are watertight. And it's good, it's done. So we got the light adjustable lens in the bag. Here he is postoperatively. That's his first eye and his second eye. Both look very good. You can actually see the center of the optic where this triangular prism of light meets at a point in the center of the pupil. I'll show it to you right now. Do you see that rainbowish color meeting right at the center? That's the center of the optic. So if you stick around, I'm going to show you what his vision is like so far before his light adjustments. And then I'll create another video later on showing the adjustments and what ultimately we decide to target his vision as. There's the center of the optic again. Beautiful. Hey, I'm with my father-in-law and we're going to check his uh, vision. This is the far vision. Fendi Baba, can you uh, read that for me? Yeah. C B F Z E. Okay, how about this one? L E Z P V. Okay, how about this one? P B T F D. Good job. How about I'm gonna push you. How about these? Uh, no, maybe C Y B P L. That's very good. Okay. Now we're gonna do the other eye. Can you cover your right eye? This is now this eye, we're going to try, and I want you to try to read these for me. A, G, F, B, C. Okay, how about these? D, P, V, L, O. Okay, how about these? Maybe L, V, C, A, N. 
Okay, good. All right, so you got all except one. And then I'm going to push you a little bit. This one's maybe too hard. This is 2015. So maybe T S T S E maybe the last two Z I think probably. Yeah, you got a couple. But this left eye has a slight epiretinal membrane. Okay, now cover your uh, left eye. All right. And I'm going to give you this reading card. Okay. Now you tell me on this reading card, what's the smallest one you can do? You tell me where the smallest one that you can read. I want you to hold it even a little closer. Yeah. Hold it closer. Yeah. Can you see these? Yes. Okay. How about yeah. how about these? Okay. Three, two, three. Three. I almost dropped my camera there. Hold on. All right. So now for here, can you read these? These numbers? No. no. These no. How about here? Two, eight, four, three. Okay. So that's with your right eye there. Now, how about the other side? Switch oh. eyes. Okay. Now, you can hold this again. Yes. Can you see uh, here? Yes. All right. I want you to read these. Yeah, eight, seven, four. How about here? It, this is a little bit cloudy, but two, eight, four, three. Huh? Okay. Any of these or no? no? So both eyes are only about 20 or J16. Okay, so it's J16. So you don't have any ability to read now without glasses. This is before the adjustments. We did not do any adjustments yet. Um, and so this is his uh, auto refraction. And this is his uh, manifest refraction right here. This is the manifest, okay? So now we are going to do his first light adjustment. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.